All right, guys, what is up? Sean Ames here from Heart of America FPV, and I'm doing an update on the Heart of America cargo trailer conversion thing. It's down there connected to uh, my wife's car because that's what I got to pull it with. <laughs> I got a lot of things going on today, but I got so frustrated that I didn't get any photos or video or anything last weekend. So I don't really have a choice. I want to update you guys on what's going on here. So essentially last weekend was the maiden voyage for the uh, trailer. When I started the project, I didn't really expect it to be for this function, but I, I used the trailer last weekend to take all of my race ops gear, like all the stuff I used to run a race, gates and flags, computers, all that stuff, put it in the trailer and I went to St. Louis and I ran a race and then I went to Kansas City and I ran a race it worked great it was super clean super easy the trailer pulled great like super happy in general so nonetheless this week I ended up leaving everything in the trailer because yesterday they announced the multi GP global qualifier track I'm hoping it fits here in my yard but I, I couldn't really figure that out until I got the dimensions so I didn't know if I'd need to take all my stuff to a different field to set up the track or set it up here at the house. Um, if I set it up somewhere else, then that means I gotta set it up, tear it down, set it up, tear it down. If I set it up here, that means it's up permanently. So I've got an idea of where the track might fit here. So I'm gonna try that today. And while I'm at it, I just wanna show you guys what's up with the trailer. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's a little messy because I had gotten some stuff out of it this week. So it's not super duper organized at the moment, but this will give you an idea. Here's the trailer. Now, I was gonna do some cabinets, but I decided instead, yeah, see this, this stuff is typically up there. I was gonna do a cabinet under there, but that would mess up the spot that I have for 10 foot goods like PVC and EMT and rebar down there right now. And so what I ended up doing, I just bought four of these and uh, they uh, can be stored up there. I've got the bungees and the little eye hooks and everything. So that works fine. So that travels nicely in there. Obviously down here on the floor, it's literally exactly 10 feet. So I had measured that just to make sure that the finishing that I did, I'd still have room for 10 foot goods and I barely have the room for 10 foot good so that's nice as you can see i took the bench for the bed out now when i take this to io pretty much anytime i decide i need it i can totally put my couch right there and uh, for io i'm gonna sleep on that couch and really these gates and everything could just then be there there's plenty of room obviously so tv traveled nicely so so right now i'm gonna work on getting all this stuff out i'm gonna set up this track out here and then i'll set up the trailer kind of like what it would be like for race ops and uh, show you guys how that all turned out. So let's go time-lapse mode, set up the stinking track. Let's do it. All right, so here's the trailer, kind of how I'll have it set up when I'm doing race ops. Obviously, if I'm here at home, I'm gonna do race ops in the cabin. <laughs> Wanted to kind of show you guys how I plan to set it up. So this is it. As you can see, the couch will go fine there. Sunday, when I was in Kansas City, I got a bit of a trailer warming present from Joey Drone, and that is custom belt hammer. It's also a rebar driver to like slam down rebar. So super big thanks to uh, Joey, known as Joey Drone from Kansas City. So um, that's the trailer. Rest of the day, I'm gonna work on getting this uh, track up, do some flying, and uh, we're gonna get started on this 2020 multi-GP global qualifier. So thanks for checking this out. We'll catch you next time on Heart of America FPV. Later.